So it looks like the IRS has been giving us some Christmas gifts. Uh, recently, they postponed the new 1099K rule. They kicked that down the road till 2024. And then yesterday, they just announced that for tax years 2020 and 2021, if you owed money to the IRS, they're gonna waive it, meaning that you don't have to pay the penalty on that amount. You still have to pay the tax, but since it's been accruing for so long, you've been accruing a lot of penalties, they said you don't have to pay the penalties anymore. So in this video, it's gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna go through the, the background of this, the facts, and what to do next. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, breaking news, the IRS weighs penalties for 2021 tax years. So this is recent, and it's great news for those that have these penalties accruing. So just in background, every year you gotta file your tax return, whether individual, business, trust, estate, et cetera. And if you owe money at the time of when your tax return is due and you don't pay it, every day that goes by there's penalties and there's interest, okay? So if you owe money and you don't pay it on time, penalties and interest start accruing. If you didn't file your return on time, there's penalties and interest that accrue. So there's two types of penalties and interest, not paying on time and not filing on time. So it's really important to know this. And that's why it's better to extend your tax return than not file it at all, even though if you owe money, because then you kind of eliminate that non-filing penalty. Um, and again, states have the same, same penalties and interest. So you got to be careful, and some states are worse than others. Some states are worse than the IRS in terms of rates and stuff. So currently, um, the IRS increased their penalty interest to 8%, which is a lot. It went from like 3% to 8%. Then the penalty, um, penalty amount is 0.5%. Um, and that goes, you know, 0.5% every month, 6% a year. Okay. So the interest and then the penalty. So what they announced yesterday is they said, okay, if you had some penalties that have been accruing, you've been getting letters from the IRS, and, and actually all of a sudden those letters probably stopped. They, you, you, know, you knew you owed the money, but you weren't getting notices from the IRS. What they're saying is, all right, we've been backlogged here. We haven't been sending you notices. You know what? We're going to eliminate this penalty. But what you got to do is you got to file your tax. You got to you know, get this payment made. Right, the balance that you owe, not the penalty, because that's going to get waived. But you got to pay the balance that's due, and you got to pay that early in 2024. And this also only applies to those that owe less than a hundred thousand dollars. So, if you owe more than a hundred thousand dollars, just say you owe one hundred ten thousand dollars in taxes relating to the 2020 tax year, this waiving doesn't apply to you. This is only those that owe in taxes and haven't paid for the years 2020 and 2021. The waivers will be automatic, so the IRS knows who you are, right? And you probably noticed that you haven't been receiving notices in the mail. So they're, they're kind of doing this like on an automatic basis here. This impacts individuals, businesses, trusts, and estates. The IRS will send a reminder out to you in January of 2024 of the balance that is owed to them, okay? So this is great news. Now you might be thinking, wait, I have some penalties from 2019 or 2018. What can I do? So first off, there are payment plans that the IRS has, and it's kind of depending on how much you owe. So if you owe under $50,000, you can sign up online on their website. And how it works is you connect your bank account, and every month they kind of take a certain amount of money out of your bank account until the balance is all paid off. If you owe over 50,000, but under a hundred thousand, you have to answer some questions. And if you pass, you can set this payment plan up online. So that's one option, the payment plan. There's the other one is the penalty of relief for other tax years here. So, you know, but to get this penalty of relief, you know, they want to see what your income is, but they also want to make sure that you've been in good standing, right? So, Maybe 2017 was a very bad year for you. You incurred all these penalties and interest. Um, it was just a hardship. But then 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 2022, you filed on time. You paid everything on time. You didn't have any penalties. Um, 
then you can call the IRS and complete this form and they might be able to kind of give you a relief on what's owed. So that's also something to kind of look into. So it's called penalty relief. But again, you got to always be in, in good spirits or I guess in, in good line with the IRS, meaning that you're filing your taxes on time, you're paying what's due on time, you're just in good standing with them. So thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below.